Okay, uh, going to next one, uh, Peloton and Echelon. So the, these are uh, these both had EPA vulnerabilities. Uh, so if you remember when uh, uh, when the current U.S. president, President Biden, was uh, uh, elected, uh, the security service didn't let him take his um, exercise, his private exercise equipment from from Peloton into the White House, citing uh, security concerns. And so it turned out that Peloton and, and actually their, their main competitor, Echelon, were both uh, vulnerable, had EPA vulnerabilities. So these are smart uh, connected devices. So when you exercise, you can um, have that social experience with your, uh, with your, um, with your coach, uh, with, with other uh, people exercising, et cetera. So that means that your device uh, has applications. These applications talk to some sort of cloud component uh, that deliver that, that social experience. And unfortunately, these APIs were, were vulnerable uh, in both of the systems. So in case of Peloton, uh, the API at point had no authentication whatsoever. So anyone could just go to that API and talk to it directly. Uh, so, And then when the company added authentication, they still haven't added authorization. So basically, anyone with any Peloton account, there are like 3 million of them, I think, uh, I can just go ahead and create a Peloton account for me. Uh, I could uh, get information not just from my profile, but from any profile of any other user, as long as I knew the, the ID of that account. And uh, the privacy was enforced just by application and not by the API, right? So I could access information even from private uh, profiles, from the profiles that users explicitly made private and were not expected to be shared, right? So for example, on this screenshot, you can see that for this profile, uh, there is a field saying, is uh, profile private true? Uh, but um, researchers could still access all that information. And obviously a lot of information gets gets retrieved, right? You can see that the picture of the user, you can see the age, uh, gender, et cetera, et cetera. And also researchers found that besides the main API, there were all the other APIs like GraphQL endpoints, et cetera, that they could also access and get even more information. And what's make it worse, when researchers found the vulnerability and the company eventually fixed it, the company didn't have any, any logs, uh, any monitor, monitoring capabilities to even be able to say whether uh, this um, flaw this, uh, has ever been breached, whether the researchers were the first ones who found it, or there was someone else collecting all the data uh, while the vulnerability was there. Similar th thing with Echelon. Again, they had no, uh, they had authentication on the endpoint to get user profiles, but they didn't have authorization. So again, if I just know user IDs, I can start getting information on all these users. You can see that actually if with Echelon, the data that they returned was much worse. You can get a lot of private data here. Uh, you can get exact uh, physical address, uh birthday weight uh equipment information like serial number where they bought the equipment all the history of their workouts etc cetera, etc cetera. so th this is extremely private um and uh, there was another endpoint leaderboard which is sort of uh an endpoint that the application used to display your class information and who is uh, doing um how well everyone in the class was doing and this one was not protected at all like any anyone could just get any information about about the classes that was were going on and which users were there. Also, they had um, an API to find users by email address. Again, makes it even uh, worse. Now you can, for someone whose email address you know, you can see if they were using Echelon, they get their user ID and then get all of the information. And um, one other common issue. Uh, that they had was within the, all the pictures that users could upload, there was all metadata in the picture, like the, the exact GPS coordinates, et cetera, making it even an even bigger privacy issue. How to prevent? Well, I mean, obviously, uh, there's a broken object level authorization, right? So in, in both cases, one could get not just his or her information, but also information about other users. Uh, broken authentication, some APIs were not, um, had no security whatsoever. Uh, and definitely excessive data exposure. A lot of data was getting exposed. And as I mentioned, insufficient logging and monitoring, the companies could not tell whether the, the problem uh, uh, was even breached or not. 
So uh, how to prevent, find all of your APIs, do API discovery and, and find all of your APIs that lack authentication, that lack security and, and, and fix that. Everyone knows that there's no such thing as internal API. All APIs could become external. Uh, implement authorization, like one thing is authentication. So the, the user has an account. The other is authorization. Is that user allowed to access that data? Uh, if they belong to someone else, they, they, they should not. Um, collect only the information you need. Don't just, if you are on the application site, don't collect the data that, that you don't need. Um, and strip out all metadata, et cetera. Um, define what your APIs um, are exposing and make sure you don't expose more, et cetera, et cetera. 